Concordia University student Megan Del Grosso got her education under Bill 101, a Quebec law that makes French the sole language of the province. She believes the latest call to extend this law to English language colleges would deter Anglophone students from wanting to study here. Um, I think it would be a lot harder for students to have to study in French. I know for myself that it would be a lot different. I probably wouldn't have gone into the program I did. And there probably wouldn't be, there would be a lot less uh, students going into CJA. Megan's access to English schools growing up gives her the firm belief that anyone who wants to study here in English should have that possibility. Um, my neighbor, who's actually French, born here, wanted to go to school in English because she wanted to have the two languages, but she wasn't allowed to, so I think it has really affected a lot of people. But over at Marionopolis College, a new program promises to change all this. Director General Len Evans says his students will have the opportunity to immerse themselves into Francophone culture. Yes. Students who are fully bilingual and have the confidence to operate in another culture are also uh, um, um, able to get uh, more successful employment and also uh, they have opportunities uh, here but also around the world. We also think that students who are um, uh, fully comfortable in Quebec are more likely to stay in Quebec and some of the trends that we've seen of young Anglophone uh, students leaving the province, we hope that that uh, slows down or, or stops and that they stay here and build their careers and their futures in Quebec. This exchange program offered between Marianopolis and Jean Brebeuf will have students spending their final semester in a second language. Many have shown interest. Uh, we are hoping to, uh, to attract uh, up to 30 students in, uh, in this exchange program in the early days. And then as it grows and as it uh, uh, becomes uh, more well known, we hope to see it grow uh, into a more significant program. Evan assures me that the timing of this announcement and the current debate on extending Bill 101 into English CJEPs is coincidental. For Megan, she thinks a program like this could work as long as they don't impose it on English students like the original language law. The new exchange program will take place in January 2012. At Marionopolis College, I'm Adam Bema.